Hey, welcome back to Teacher Time's Tutorials. Um, so if you followed along with the last one, you just had your students create turn-in folders, which they should now have shared with you. And if you go into your Google Drive, you're probably looking at, I don't know, 95, 100, 100 120, 150, depends on how many students you have, 150 new folders that you have to organize. So I just filled up your drive, but I promise I'm going to show you how to organize them very quickly and easily, and then all will be right again in your drive. It's a one-time thing, you only have to do it just this at the beginning to take care of, and then after that, you never have to mess with it again. So without further ado, let's go look at the drive. So here we are in our drive, and things don't look bad so far, but when someone shares a file with you, whether, whether they share a folder or a document, it, auto, it doesn't automatically pop into your drive unless you've created that relationship yet. You need to go check on the, or click on the Shared With Me uh, tab, and when you click on that, whoa, look, there's all those student folders that I talked to you about, and um, now we're going to clean those up. The first thing you might want to do is just kind of look through them to see if there's any errors. So for example, I wanted to say two dash student name not second dash student name so I'm gonna go clean that up I'm just gonna right click on it it gives me a chance to rename the folder and I'm gonna do that um, because I'd like them all to look the same you can do that if you really care you can go through and you know fix uh, if a student maybe didn't capitalize his or her name you can always take care of that but that I'm not gonna be so picky about I just want to make sure it's um, it's properly numbered at the front. Then go ahead and in the upper right hand corner here you're going to choose sort and sort by title. That way, see, because I've got the hour, so all my twos are together, then all my threes, then all my fours, so it's going to make that pretty easy. Um, before we move this into your My Drive, uh, you need to create a place where you want it to go. So I've opened up My Drive, and I've created a folder called 2013-14 Student Work, and that was easy to do just by creating, you know, click Create Folder. Um, but I've already created the folder, so I'm going to open up the folder, and notice now I have a second hour, a third hour, a fourth hour. Um, I want one more folder in there, so I'm going to click that uh, folder plus, and I need a destination for my fifth hour class. So it's pretty easy to create different groups. Um, you might want to do that uh, before you get too far along. But now I have a place for all those different uh, students shared files to go. So I have each of my classes. I'm going to go back into then my shared with me. I'm going to take and I'm going to check all my second hour groups um, folders there and I'm going to move them all at one time. So that's it because I alphabetized them. It's just going to give me my twos. So once I've got them all checked, I'm going to go click on the more and I'm going to say move to and then I'm going to go ahead and choose that uh, student work folder and this is my second hour. Choose second hour and click move. All those files then will be shared with my second hour class. I'm going to do the same thing for my third hour. So I can uncheck that. There's my third hour group. Where's the bottom one? Might as well find the bottom one. Okay, and so start moving up the line. So as you can see, this file management isn't all that bad um, to take care of at the beginning of the school year. So I've got them all checked. And again, I'm going to click more and move to, and that's my third hour class. And that's about it. So I'll take care of the fourth and fifth. I don't need to drag you through that, but that file management is really not all that difficult. Now you'll see that if I clicked on my drive and clicked on student work and clicked on second hour, all those shared folders exist there now. So as soon as a student turns something in, it's going to be in the correct hour and located or listed by student. All right, well, um, that shouldn't have been too difficult to take care of. Kind of a little bit uh, time-consuming, but again, something you only have to do the first time um, that you... Uh that you create these new folders for your students or that they create the turn-in folders. And then, of course, if you get a new student somewhere in the air, it's, you know, taking them through that process is not complicated and then adding them to the right folder shouldn't be complicated at all. Uh, look next for a video that I'm going to make on how to create a turn-in form so that uh, it'll help you manage all, that all those assignments that just got turned in. Um, I'll try and create that pretty soon. So check back again. Thank you.